Okay, how's it going guys? Connor just here and welcome back to some more Pokemon Postscriptum. Last time we uh, docked here and I don't know what this place is called, Artemisia Port. We uh, ran around the area, talked to some people. Apparently we became a Bidoof, which I don't know what they are. Are they like a gang or something? But uh, yeah, we got a job here. But I don't think we can do any jobs until we get our bag. Who Did I talk to you? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay, so uh, yeah, anyways, uh, let's go this way because we explored pretty much, I'm pretty sure explored everything we can on this side of town. So let's go through here and go to the other side of town. There's policemen here. Welcome to Artemisia. You rich tourists certainly have it all. Go on, spend your money while we bust our asses for pennies. Wow, that was quite the greeting, officer. You have no idea about this place, kid. No idea. Misery, misfortune, and illness is king of this city. Gotta check something. Okay, we're good. I've been on the force for all my life, and I wasn't even given a Pokemon for my service. The people in the upper cities, though, they're living like kings. Why don't you fucking riot or something, then? Enjoy what the city has to offer. If there's anything left, that is. Where is it? I want to know. Please remain calm, kid. We don't know anything about... The arena. There is an arena. Tell me where, please, officer. Sigh. No idea, kid. Let it go. I... No. I... I need to fit it. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Hey, you. You seem new here. Please, if you hear any info at all about the arena, please let me know. My home is close. Follow the road east and you will find me. Please, even the slightest rumor helps. Uh, excuse me, miss. What exactly is the arena? Oh, sorry. It's supposedly an underground place where the best trainers in the district gather and fight until they get strong enough. For a strong trainer, you have to seize any chance you get, so you may... Oops, I'm sorry, I need to go. Ah, here we go again. Revealing private things to random strangers. Anyway, bye. Okay, I'm guessing that character is going to be important, or it's just like a side quest thing, but Arena. If we hear anything about Arena, talk to that person. Got it. Hey, stranger. Got any Pokemon on you? No. No? Too freaking bad. Who am I going to rob now? Wow, he's going to rob me. <laughs> Shit. That's not cool. I'm not supposed to be getting robbed. Hello. Well, I can't walk that way. Spikes beans at ridiculous prices, people. Come buy some. I want to eat beans. Delicious berries, just 10,000 each. A little confused tourist. Perfect. How about spending your rich ass <laughs> on some fine berries, pal? Or, no thanks? Well, you won't live long enough anyways. Wow. Who's gonna murder me? Is that a fire hydrant? It is. Holy shit. I love clicking on things. It's a passion of mine. Alright, just make sure I want to make sure I want to explore everything. Not leave any nook or cranny. Not ex There's a coughing back there. I want it. Let me have it. It's my Pokemon now. Hey, come here. Just 20,000 20, or 20 bucks for Pokemon. You can be a trainer too. You will have a chance to get out of these gray walls. Manage share survival for the modest sum of 20,000. So 20,000 for a coughing. I'm not sure if I can actually pay for that or what. Well, that's the guy who was, you know, trying to rob me earlier. Layout of the southern part is parts is a joke. It's a complete and utter mess compared to where those northern cities live. Citizens live. Here they demolish and rebuild constantly. Let us eat cement and dust and risk all kinds of infections, since they never clean all the rubble and they also dump toxic waste into right into the lackluster water system, or should I say the sewage system? It's one and the same for us down here. Damn. On top of that, they destroy any building that they that can provide shelter for the homeless. Leave nowhere to sleep. What do we do to deserve this? I don't know. Wrong place, wrong time. Each and every day I search the trash bins. Each and every day hoping I might stumble upon a Trubbish or any Pokemon. I had just one. Just one. Damn. People here are fucking desperate, dude. This sucks. These motherfuckers are having their Rattatoss battle to the death, I guess. I can walk right over that trash can. Okay. I can walk right through whatever that was. 
Destroy him, Rotata. Destroy that rascal. Destroy him. We will rise. We will finally go to the northern city. Destroy him. Tackle. Oh my god. Battle of the Ratata. What are you doing, Ratata? You can't faint here. Everything depends on you. Don't even think about fainting. <laughs> if you faint, I'll kill you. Shit. Look at this place. Good god. Hello, kid. How's it going? Hey. Do you think there might be a Diglett there? No. Forget I said anything. There's no Pokemon there. What happened, Timmy? Why didn't you come home yet? No, don't tell me you're looking for that Pokemon again. G Grandma, please don't yell. He will try to take the Diglett away. How am I going to help us if, I, if somebody else catches it? No, Timmy, you don't have any Pokemon. You might get hurt. You're my only relative. Please, Timmy. It's okay, we're not poor. We still have bread for from two months ago. Oh, God. Is that not poor here? No, Grandma, I can't see you like this. You will get sick, and I won't be able to help you. If I challenge the gym, I will make money, and I will take you to a doctor. You will have lots of food to eat. Mister, please, don't take Diggy away. Please, mister, don't hurt us. Ah. Uh, hey, it was Timmy, right? Timmy, how about a promise? I won't take Diggy away, and neither will I tell anyone if you promise to stay by your grandma here, okay? But if I go now, someone might steal Diggy. I don't think anyone would be small enough to fit through that hole. I don't even see a hole. You're talking about the hole in the ground right there? Uh, only you and Diggy are small enough. Uh, I wanted to climb down there and catch Diggy. You got any, um, whatchamacallum, Pokeballs or whatever? No, they're too expensive. Then how will you catch Diggy? What if you fall and get hurt and never be able to climb back? Did you realize what was going to happen to your grandma then? She'll be all alone and ill. Okay, I'm stupid and all, but I can, like, give this kid fucking life lessons. Like, what the fuck is this, dude? No, Grandma. Sigh. What if I catch Diggy and give it to you? What? Are you a trainer, mister? Will you do that for me? Or are you lying like everyone else? Will you sell Diggy? Will you hurt Diggy? Will you fuck Diggy? I shouldn't say that. Tell me the truth. No, Timmy. I may be a lazy lowlife, but I would never hurt or sell a Pokemon. I would. Well, the sell part, if I'm poor as shit, I'd, of course I'd sell a Pokemon. Why not? Okay, I believe you, mister. Mister, your eyes remind me of my father. He went to the mayor's office and they fucked him up. Oh, they killed him, apparently. Jesus. Timmy, enough. Grandma can't handle this, please. Thank you for helping my grandson, dear. I wish you... I wish you... I had some... What? Oh my, you indeed look like... Never mind. Thank you again. We can drop by your house sometime. Let's go, Timmy. Grandma is hungry. Timmy is hungry, too. Okay, so we got a couple of missions it looks like we can do once we, you know, get our Pokemon and shit. We have to talk to find something about an arena for that one chick. We have to catch Diggy, apparently. I don't know where these people live at. So we have some shit that needs to be done. Can I not go there? There's a house right there. Can I not go inside of it? Apparently not. Okay. Do some more searching. Some soul searching. I can't tell what I can walk on and what I can't walk on. Is this the guy that sold beans? No, it was not. The bean sellers were right over there. There's a house, though. Who the hell are these people? After a while, I get used to sleeping together with so many other people in the same room. Kind of sucks, but... At least there's a roof above our heads, you know what I mean? Sure. I wonder who you are. Treating elders, respect, and kindness is an indicator of one's soul. Okay. I want to see how this F works. Ah, okay. Oh, I'm gonna... Can I rebind that to something? Uh, it feels weird having like to go press X to uh, speed up. I'm going to make it space. Is anything space? Action is space, but I'm going to go ahead and make... Can I not make something else? The speed up button? God damn it. Fuck, they won't let me make another button, the speed up button. Shit. Well, that's a problem. I got to do like something like this. Fuck, dude, my hands are in like a weird position. And I found something I really like. 
Whenever there was food, I try to cook as well as I can for the elderly. Man, I used to think I was a loser. But seeing smiles on their faces made me realize that it doesn't matter if I suck at almost everything. As long as there are people who need help, there is something I can do in my life. I used to lie down and think about what a loser I am and how I couldn't do anything. But there's no need to think of your own inadequacy. inadequacy. No point in thinking the ifs and what ifs. As long as I feel their gratitude, I just, or just for just doing simple things for them. As long as I have that. Man, what a fool. Man, was I a fool all this time? Okay. Hello. Got any clothes? I'll give you rare items for them. Uh, will you take the ones I'm wearing? I was already over here in this area. Hello. You guys look like some upstanding gentlemen. Looking for a battle, you puss? Wow. Look at him, no Pokemon. Ow. Go away, little baby. Don't mess around here. We monitor everything that happens on our turf. You catch my drift? Lucky that you are totally broke, or else... Or else I'd call the police. Bah ha ha. Police, he said. Ha ha ha. And I thought you were new around these parts. But oh boy, you are new to the world. Bah ha ha. We're watching you. Ugh. Why do you have to turn around to say that? Welcome to the restaurant floor, man. Service serving delicious air 24-7. Oh god. <laughs> Wall, tapestry, dirt, allergic rhinitis, rhinitis, you name it, we have it. Okay then. Jesus. Fresh air. <laughs> dude is the awesomest Pokemon in the existence. It's like a living stone, dude. A living stone. So freaking original. True. Oh man, this place is so nice. We sailors love this place. It reminds us of our travels when we were free form the city. Okay. There's a lot to explore. I don't even know where we're, we haven't even gone to where we're supposed to be going yet. Uh, just sprinkle some more dust. Rotten tomato, baby. I... Spicy memes. Jesus. What are you doing back here? Look at these guys pretending to be cooks. So ridiculous. Okay, I guess they're not really cooks. Welcome to the insanity show that is this floor we will have to take our minds off starvation for a while so okay so these guys are going crazy got it here i am with my non-working cash register machine when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie that's some more oh you know the lyrics too i don't know what song that was from I think we slowly but surely fall down the degenerated brain function hole. Okay. What would this gentleman desire today? Let's see. It's all so mesmerizing, so hypnotizing. <laughs> <laughs> Speak proper English, fool. There ain't no ain't. It's has, haven't or isn't. Just ask this dump cough here. What? Dump cough? What? Well, isn't it dump cough? I don't know. What the hell? Whatever, whatever. I ain't got nobody. <laughs> Jesus. I ain't does it. It ain't me. These guys are nuts. I love them. Is that the... That looks like the lady, uh... That we have to tell the arena shit to. Look at me tasting all this yummy air. <laughs> my air. Pardon me, mister, but I'm trying to eat. Let me finish my food, will you? I'm sorry. Shit. Doesn't even look like you have any food. Talk about the air? Can I talk to this guy? Yeah, he's talking about the Geodude shit. Okay, I'm just gonna speed up a bit. It's a cool board game called Pokemon Uranium. It was on the first it was the first board game to come with a cassette tape. There's a certain someone who composed the game soundtrack called Mudkip or something. When I was little, I couldn't go a day without listening to their cassette tapes. Jesus. Chronic itching. Okay. What kind of Pokemon can deal with chronic itching? Mm, 
Rose we found out there were hundreds of pink coated plastic tables, comfy enough, beds. My kindergarten held when I explained the size. Okay. Uh my mouth's getting a bit dry from reading all this shit, so or not reading saying all this stuff, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna not talk too much unless it's important. Okay. That guy's asleep. Or dying, one or the other. He seems very suspicious, okay. Maybe we have to come talk to him later. He doesn't look I don't know why I couldn't talk there, but I was gonna try to say it doesn't look that crowded right now. So much space. It's only like fifty people on each floor, but there's so much space. I not have a shirt on. That guy right there just might not have a shirt on. I need to talk to him. Oh, apparently he has a rog and roller. Okay, next floor. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Okay, that guy apparently seems tell says he heals Pokemon, so maybe he's a he's our PC whenever we get a Pokemon. Whenever that'll be next year, maybe. What's going on here? What is this guy doing? They're playing a game? What is it? Simon Says? Pretend we're in a theater. Okay. We'll have fun. I'm literally just talking to everybody. <laughs> Never know, we might have some more quests to do. I think we have we have like quests that we can be doing. We have the one about the arena. We have the little kids Diglett. And we have the the Bidoof people. I think those are like quests we can do after we find out where the hell we're supposed to be going. This guy looks suspicious. Okay, never mind. The hell is the hell are these people talking about? This plastic toy bed is mine. <laughs> This is my plastic toy bed. Unless the guy doesn't wash his feet. Fantastic. Okay, next floor. Have I talked to you yet? Ah, so many people. Okay, looks like this is the last floor. Good. What the hell's going on here? I'll talk to them in a moment. Oh, they're fighting over pillows. Is that is that what's going on? These are our pillows, you see. Sensei, I need steel pillow. What am I do? Excuse me. English, get better at it, please. You is win with power. Overcome much obstacle. Seize many opportunity. Banish pillow when night falls. Oh, they're gonna fucking steal some pillows. Holy shit, can I join? I wanna be a pillow thief. They pinch black, excuse me? What's over here? How about a big fat bowl of nothing? Okay, let's talk to the pillow people. Apparently these guys are stealing the pillows. What are they, fucking twins? One, two, three, six, nine. 
what's the like the word for nine nine twins give us back our pillows oh he stole the pillows shit you monsters <laughs> wait what force me to use my pokemans i got all the pokemans Throws out a book. Go, Bookabon! <laughs> if I was like one of these people like going crazy, I'd totally pretend like just any random inanimate object was a Pokemon. Go, Trashmon! Trashagon! Oh, I know, some shit like that. Where the hell is the exit of this place? There it is. Ah, this place is so massive. Good god. How's the building? Hello. I'm Siegfried. Oh, you have a name. Wonderful name. I know, I know, I know. I came to this region to witness firsthand the strength of its trainers. Numerous rumors were spreading around about the Pokemon Nation. Rumors of the Wasteland of the West, a place where trainers and Pokemon still rely on their physical abilities to survive. Your face shows weird. Where? But you don't seem like you're from these parts. People here are really strong, emotionally, physically, mentally. They just don't know it. The way they live, it's practically impossible to survive. For example, someone like me could never survive in these circumstances. I wonder if the entire region is in such a desolate state, though. Well, I'll be heading to the gym. I want to experience firsthand the strength of this region. Um, excuse me, but is it customary when you where you come from to from avoid sharing your name with the company? Oh man, I'm really sorry, Siegfried. I'm Mark. Nice to meet you. Uh, I got distracted by your narration there for a sec. Haha, <laughs> I understand. I'm slightly poetic sometimes. It helps when feeling down. Believe me. Well, I'll be seeing you, Mark. If there's another seemingly important character, I say seemingly because I don't know, but he, he has a name. Okay, so there's the place we have to go to. There's our courier branch place. So I'll just check out the rest of this town, just to make sure I'm not missing anything. And uh, I'll go to there to move on with our lives. Lanky skinny. Oh my god, go away, ugly. Oh my god. Okay, I'm about to go work out, dude. I'm about to whoop all these people's asses who's talking shit about me. This is not cool. Someone called me ugly. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, I just want to make sure we uh, explored all this shit. Have we explored this part? Okay, we talked to those two people down there. Let's talk to these people. Cleanest sewage water. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. With every apple, you get another one extra. No need to spend money on the other shops. Oh, fantastic. Find these beans. Wasn't there another guy selling beans? <laughs> the best plastic flowers. Look like puberty forgot you existed. <laughs> How about some sweet plastic to lose even more body hair? Check it out. Uh, thanks, I'll pass. Oh my god. <laughs> Why are these people so savage? Good god. It's amazing how savage these guys are. Uh, I explored this area over here. I talked to the sailor guy. Don't think I talked to you. <laughs> Imagine falling down there. Well, I might push you and you can find out what's down there. Either win or you and your Pokemon starve. Shit. When am I going to get a Pokemon, dude? I need a Pokemon in my life. I only take bribes. These guys, though, they beg you for anything, and they want it all. Okay, so there's squatters up there. Got it. Please, just let me rest. Please. You. You ready for freedom? If you are, come again. I'll tell you a secret if you want to head, head east. Okay, so there's another guy we can talk to. It's not like four or five people we... uh need to talk to you. Oh, what the fuck? I don't think I was supposed to walk through that. Oh, okay, this is where little Timmy lives. Got it. 
So there's Timmy's house. Timmy must be rich in these parts too. Yeah, cause he has a fucking house. I don't think most people have houses. Any good stuff, you know? Like chocolate? I mean, I haven't eaten since forever. I came from Kanto. Should have never done that. I'll never fall in love again. The hell? Oh my god. You try to get with a bad bitch and it didn't work out. Paddle me so I can show you my beauty. Okay. Jesus, look at all these people. This guy's terrible. Okay. Well, uh, let me, uh, I think I'm going to bind the the other since we can't bind F I'm gonna go ahead and bind the other buttons to the buttons close to F A S and D so we can uh that'll be should I make that D let's make that D uh let's make run let's make that S so now we have our fingers on S, D, and F. Does that work? Yes. That did work. Okay, so now I can now I can keep the uh, speed up on and still talk to people. Without having to move my fingers all the time. Okay, I just wanted to really speed through this because the last episodes we've really just been talking to people. Well, the first episode was story, second episode, and this episode is just us talking to so much people. So I'm just gonna speed read through all this. If it starts looking like this text is gonna be important, that's an item right there. I found a silk scarf. I don't even have a bag. So where the hell did I put that? I have a fake skill silk scar here. Turns out Pokemon can't tell the difference. Haha. -ha. You're free to take it. I already finished the deed. No toilets around here, dude. Sorry. Oh my god, he shit on my scarf. This man has shat all over my scarf. Got it. Good lord. <laughs> I have a shit scarf now. Okay, next floor. Actually, how long have I been recording? Okay, well, I don't want this video to get too long, so I guess we'll go ahead and explore the rest of this place in the next episode. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Sorry if these like past two episodes have been boring, but I mean, just trying to talk to everybody, make sure we get a full grasp of what's going on around us. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll finish talking to everything and everybody around this area. And then we can get to the courier place and continue on with the story, I guess. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. It's been Connor. Just I'll see you guys next time with some more Pokemon Postscriptum. Thanks for watching again. And, uh, yeah, peace out.